We're back with another scrapyard science video and today we're going to replace the engine oil with laundry detergent in this little Saturn. This car came in a couple weeks ago and ran and drove, actually the customer drove it into the scrapyard and sold it. But let's take a quick look at the car and then we'll get that oil drained, replaced with the laundry detergent, fire it up and see how long it lasts. So for today's test, we're going to use this Saturn that has a big block 9.1 liter, 740 horsepower engine. It's twin turboed, so it should be pretty spectacular when this thing blows up because it makes a ton of power. The rest of the car is pretty standard for a junk car. This one is a five speed and it does still fire up. I just tested that. It would be a bummer to waste the time to drain the oil and put laundry detergent in it and it not fire back up. And like I said, this thing is a twin turbo, so you know this thing makes a ton of power. It's not actually a terrible little car. It's in fairly decent shape, but it was brought into the scrapyard, so it's junk to us. And uh, just so you guys know, here's one turbo, and then here's the other turbo, so you know that this thing is definitely a twin turbo beast. But... All right, we got the engine oil drained, and there is nothing left in it at all so now we just need to put the laundry detergent in the engine and then we'll fire it up I think this engine calls for about a gallon of oil gosh if I could get the cap off that actually looks a little uh a little milky down in there so this thing may have had a head gasket issue it's all right it's about to have bigger issues than that anyways i'm not sure if this is a gallon that'd be my guess 110 fluid ounces it's gonna be close enough i guess All right, that's the whole jug. Unfortunately, the way the spout was on this, I spilt some all on the valve cover and on the back. So if this thing runs for any period of time, that probably is gonna start burning off and smoking, but shouldn't be anything worse than that. It's just gonna look like smoke, I guess. Yeah, we're about middle ways of the safe zone right now so by the time the rest of that drains down we'll probably be towards the top of the the safe zone so we're good either way all right i'm getting ready to fire it up but keep in mind all the rest of these scrapyard science tests that we've done we have done at wide open so i'll fire this thing up and then just hold the throttle to the floor i'll probably wedge something in there so i'm not sitting in the car and then we'll see how long it'll run for if it's like last time when we put vegetable oil in that Lumina, it ran for, gosh, like 45 minutes and basically would only turn off after it overheated for being wide open for so long. I don't think that's going to be the case with this one today. Hopefully this one's a little quicker and a little more catastrophic. But if it's really long, I'll just have to kind of cut through um, the length of the video so you'll see it skip ahead. But hopefully it's quick and easy and painful for the engine. But let's... Well, that was kind of a bummer. It really only ran for about 18 seconds. I went back and watched on the camera from when it started to when it turned off. I thought that it was gonna turn off almost immediately. You guys could hear it, it revved up and then it bogged down like it was gonna turn off. But then it revved back up and I thought, oh good, we're gonna have something catastrophic, but we didn't. So I guess I'm going to try to fire it back up and see if it will, and hopefully it will do something more exciting than that. We'll see. Well, unfortunately, the starter will barely turn it over, so I'm assuming we probably spun a bearing or something and the engine is locked down pretty tight. It's not completely solid because it will spin over at least a little bit. 
Um, I'm going to start the service truck so that the battery is getting a little bit more juice and then try it again. But if that doesn't work, unfortunately, that's it for today. But I think we can all agree that laundry detergent is not going to be a good replacement for engine oil. So if you're in a pinch, don't use laundry detergent. Well guys, unfortunately, I think that is it for this one. It sounded a little bit stronger when I cranked the service truck, but not enough to even really give it a full spin. It spins about half or three quarters before it locks down again. So that's pretty much it. I don't know if this was the best test subject for this video. It did crank up, run, and drive fine. Um, but when I went to fill the oil, you could see that milky moisture looking in the top. The engine oil that came out didn't look that bad, so maybe it was just some moisture in the valve cover, but there could have been some underlying issues that we weren't aware of. But anyways, let's check out the dipstick and see what it looks like now that it's ran. Don't think it's gonna be anything crazy. And then that's it for today. The exhaust isn't even really hot. I could touch the exhaust manifold. Um, it just looks like soap bubbles. It really doesn't look like there's a whole lot there. That's uh... Okay, that looks a little better, but it mostly just looks like soap suds. So definitely probably not a very good lubricant. And it's very, very thin on there. There's like, it's just those little bit of bubbles. There's not hardly any liquid. Well, I guess that makes sense as to why it didn't run very long. The soap probably turned to suds almost immediately, so there was no liquid to even attempt to lubricate anything. So I would say it was quick and easy, but it wasn't very painful for the engine, at least not exciting for us to watch. One of these days, we will get something that is a little more catastrophic, at least probably throw a rod or something like that, but it's not going to be this one. But I guess that's it for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.